Hey guys and welcome back to another Chelsea career mode video on our Football Manager Mobile 2020 series where we left off we had some good results uh, especially in the Champions League we got our first win in the Champions League which puts us second in the table of Group C and then now we head over to Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium uh, for a very difficult game in the Premier League they're currently in a very good form they've got four wins from the last five games and they sit pretty on top of the table However, if we do manage to beat them, we will uh, be on the same points as them. Very unlikely to overtake them because of goal difference or maybe it's head-to-head -head record. I'm not sure how, how it works in terms of if two teams are on the same points and goal difference. Uh, but we'll find out in just a bit. So, uh, we're going to be heading to Etihad Stadium in about three days. Uh, we're well prepared. We had a long 14-day or 15-day break. Antonio Rudiger sustained a little injury, but he should be back for this game, which, yes, he is. He's back for the game. And, um, and I think we're good to go, guys. Uh, neither Kovacic or Mount is doing the best, is having the best of games, if I'm being honest uh, here. Which is perhaps a bit disappointing because I know Mason Mount's doing well for Chelsea in real life. I know Kovacic is very, very is doing very, very well as well since his transfer from Real Madrid. And even last season on loan at Chelsea, he did very well, which probably prompted I mean not probably, but most likely prompted the club to make him a permanent transfer. So guys, we're good to go. Uh Zuma, he got eight in his last game. Christensen got a seven. I wanna I wanna bring in actually I wanna bring in Zuma for this game. It's gonna be rude against Zuma. And then we've got Abraham. Abraham, not too bad. Six goals and one assist in 11 games. Pulisic, one goal and one assist in six games. He's having a, a slow start. Willian with two goals and six assists in his first 11 games, which is very good. And I think we're ready to head into this uh, match, guys. Let's see Manchester City's formation to see, uh, get an idea of how, um, how offensive they would play. So we've got Silva and Aguero, most likely to start for City, which they do. So they got Rodri. They have a, a similar formation to us. It's just that one of their midfielders is more dropped back just above the defence line. And I think we're good to go, guys. A very important match coming up in Manchester City. Get the first half kickoff. What a good pass to Aguero. And what... Sorry for that cut-up, but what a start for Manchester City. What a goal for Aguero. The defence was sleeping. Not sure whose fault that was. Maybe the whole defensive lineup. But we start off very, very badly here. And we are already on course for a disastrous evening. But uh, let's see what we can do to uh, put to right the wrongs, should I say. Here's the yellow card. I'm not sure who that f uh, who that was for. Goal kick for Chelsea. Uh, so far, we've got three shots and one on target. But still, that Aguero stunning first goal is the only thing that separates the two sides really right now. I mean, neither side has done really a lot since uh, that first goal. And let's head into the second half, hopefully with a bit more confidence. And um, yeah, let's see what we can do. So we get the second half started. Here's Espelicota to Jorginho, to Zuma, to Rudiger, to uh, uh, Arizabalaga. Not the best of balls. And uh, we just lose possession very easily, it seems. Emerson being called over by the referee. Is it going to be a yellow card? Yes, it is. A booking for the left uh, left back. It's Laporte to Gundogan. To uh, Sané. And to Aguero, second goal, of the, uh, second goal of the game, sorry. And that's game over, guys. I'm pretty sure that is game over. Um, yeah, very, very weak, uh, this game so far. And um, we haven't done too well in our last game either. We drew on one to Everton. But I was expecting something since we'd be, uh, we, I think we'd be Tottenham and we'd be uh, Arsenal. So I expected a bit more from the team, but it seems like um, this might have to be his. Abraham, is he going to get a goal back? Yes, he is, guys. Let's just say, never say never, should I say. It is 2-1. Nothing is too late as of now. My confidence was really low when they scored that second goal, which obviously prompted me to literally have no belief that it would make a comeback. But we're halfway there at the moment. Halfway to... That's only halfway to getting a draw. Got a lot of work to do if we want to win this game. But I think I want to make some substitutes. It's a good uh, co uh, free kick for Man City. His Rodri, Silva, Rodri again, Gundogan and Silva. Good save for 
Arizabalaga, but it's an offside position. Either way, the goal wouldn't have counted if it would have gone in. Let's make some changes, guys. Who's not been performing well? I seen Zuma's not been performing the best. So we're going to put in Christensen and let's put in Mount for Kovacic, who's done next to nothing this game, even though he's on a, a solid 7 rating out of 10. 10 minutes to go, guys. And plus, I added time to actually find an equaliser and very, and more certainly, very unlikely to find a winner here. But let's keep our faith and hopes high. Here's, uh, again, Manchester City are still keeping up the tempo, even though they're not getting too comfortable. And here's Silva, good save from Arisa Balag again. And a, sec a good second dive to pick up the ball, which uh, kind of spilled from his hands. And here's Man City on the attack again. We're running out of time if you want to find this equaliser. It's time for these players to step up. Pulisic, Willian, someone. If I'm going to put in Pedro for these last two minutes, or actually... Um, one Hudson Odoi for Pulisic. Maybe the youngster can actually give us a goal. Four minutes of injury time. And it's a free SR throw in bar. I think that's it, guys. We're going to have to settle for uh, a loss here. Uh, disappointing. I think the last time we lost was actually against Man Manchester United, or I think in the league. So it's been a while since we've actually lost in the league or overall, but um, it seems like we do start this uh, episode off with a bad, bad game. That puts us down to fourth, and now we are six points away from the leaders. Let's just check when we last lost. It was against, yeah, it was literally our second game of the Premier League season. It was 2-1. And ever since then, we've either drawn or won, so we've had a pretty good record. But now we are ready to head over to Valencia in the Champions League in our third game. Hopefully we can pick up some free points. And, uh, okay, someone su sustains an injury. It's non no one from the senior team. And uh, reverse Valencia today. I think I'm going to make a couple changes. We're going to put Christensen on for Zuma. Mount for Kovacic. And I think I want to put Pedro on for Pulisic. And I think we've got Loftus-Cheek here as well, which I really want to include. So we're going to put him on the bench. A couple injuries uh, for Valencia. Meanwhile, we're fresh. Only downside to us is we've actually lost our last game, which was uh, very disappointing. But it was against Manchester City, so there's no shame in that. It is, uh, it's not even a top four team. It's literally a top two team, Manchester City. His mount to Abraham. The match engine is lagging like hell. I'm not sure why the reason for that is. Here's a uh, good Pedro cuts inside. He's going to have to find someone. He does mount and it doesn't go to anyone, unfortunately. Good play, though, from Pedro. He hasn't started much this season, but with Pulisic not really stepping up in certain games, I'm being forced uh, to resort to Pedro, which is a fairly more experienced striker. Pulisic has basically come from the US and moved to Dortmund, where he's, I think, only won like a, a league trophy or something. Whereas uh, Pedro has much more experience to his pedigree. He's been with Barcelona all over the world, uh, winning trophies, uh, Champions League with them, a couple of Ligas. Pretty sure he's won some Super Cups and uh, Copa del Reyes. And now he won two... Was it two? Actually, I think that's he only he's only won one Premier League title with Chelsea uh, so far. So, yeah. And Hudson Adoy, obviously, he's still young. So far, he's done next to nothing for the team. Uh, a bit unfortunate because it doesn't really reflect him in real life as he's doing well for Chelsea. I mean, he's not started a lot because he's had he just come back from injury, but he is uh, regarded as a hot prospect for the club. Approaching half time, and uh, it's been of a bit of a boring game. Uh, neither team really stepping up, showing they want to take that first place in the Champions League group stage. If anything. According to the table, I think Valencia are first, so if anything, they would feel more comfortable to sit back and uh, play for a draw here, but we're not here for that. Why is the timer going so slow? Yeah, no, I haven't changed anything, so it's just the match itself going really slow. It's perhaps a chance as Piliqueta 
Who is he going to find? He finds Mount to Kante to Willian. And Willian crosses it. And Pedro gets his second goal of the season. My faith has been repaid in Pedro starting today. He gets a good goal. Willian again with a good cross. Kante was in that uh, combination as well. Very good team goal. And uh, overall uh, a good performance so far. Even though it's been literally next to nothing until now. But at least we have a conceded or... Conceded goals or conceded chances themselves. His Valencia get the second half on the way. They're determined to uh, switch up their game plan because so far hasn't worked. They have not been able to head over to the dressing room with a point in the bag. Now they're uh, they are facing zero points gained from this match if they keep it up this way. And it's Jorginho, his third goal of the season. What a time to score before half time and just after. Very very good. Um, and that's 2-0. Please for Jorginho. He's more of a defensive midfielder to be getting a goal. Especially from a corner. I think William might have taken that corner. So I think that's perhaps his second assist of the game. Which is uh, very good. Good tackle from Christensen. Christensen doing very well since he's come back to the lineup. Um, after Zuma had a bit of a dodgy game last time out. Heading for a nice uh, away victory in the Champions League. Which you might not see a lot of. His Gomez though, and there's Valencia with a goal back. They get a goal back. They half the deficit. Uh, a bit disappointed in my defense over there. I mean, they were marking the first player that initially took the shot, but then he, they didn't mark the player that was waiting for the cross. So um, yeah, a bit disappointing. Disappointed with that, and uh, we're now in danger of actually losing the three points and only getting one. Here we lose possession very easily. He's Rodrigo, and again very slack defending. We've let the 2-0 go to our heads and now we are literally in danger. We look more in danger than Valencia are. And that's uh, very funny because we're, we're the team with the two goals uh, so far. He's mount to Lee and it's a second goal again. Very, very bad defending. It hits the post, we get lucky and then it bounces straight to Rodrigo. You could say it's a bit unlucky to get the rebound. But the defence should have been covering. They should have been expecting any possible outcome if that ball was to go over if that ball was to bounce back if that ball was to go in the net who knows they should have been ready for it and they weren't and now all our hard work within those literally two minutes that we scored two goals is now uh undone Kante not holding the ball well and Rodrigo manages to get it Valencia playing the far better football in the second half even though we scored early on it just shows which team wants it more and it seems like Valencia won it here's a here's a cross and uh, here's Willian, uh, a bit of a cross to Arisa Balaga. Let's bring in Loftus-Cheek and let's bring on um, Batshuayi for Tammy Abraham. Here we get another corner. If Willian can replicate his good crossing technique, we could be in store for a late winner here. Here's Willian. Ah, Jorginho committed a foul in the box and I think that might be it for this game, guys. Not a lot of time left. And very, very disappointed with the performance to come 2-0 up and then lose the lead. Well, that's life. Here's Valencia with a good chance yet again. They're not finished. They want to get those three points. It's a free kick. Right? Oh, no, it's a penalty. It's a penalty for Valencia, guys. I cannot believe my eyes. It is a penalty for Valencia. VAR is not disputing, which can only mean one thing. The correction. The, sorry, the decision stands. And uh, can Arizabala, Arizabalaga keep us in this game? No, he can't. Valencia went 3-2, guys. And uh, our disastrous start to this episode uh, continues. Uh, I cannot believe that. 2-0 up. What a game for Valencia, though. Imagine 2-0 down and then you win 3-2 in the dying moments. His... Another free kick. Who the fuck committed another foul, man? Who's stupid enough to know we need a goal to draw and then commits a fucking foul when we're under attack? Come on. Not good. Not good performance, guys. Full time. We lose. Two matches in a row we lost. The worst record we've had so far this season. Which is perhaps not the worst considering we're literally having to rely. Olivier Giroud wants to be trained as a central defender. No way, mate. I have again sold, or I don't know. Emerson is in, uh, sorry, is banned for this episode, so we're gonna have to rely on Alonso. 
But uh, Batshuayi been literally useless. I, Abraham's holding his own. He's not doing too bad. Uh, I think I'm going to start with William and Pedro again. Literally. That's an Adoy. Yeah. We'll do reverse next. Reverse Sheffield and then reverse Luton Town in the Carabao Cup. So hopefully we can have some more fortune, fortunate events there. And um, let's see what we can do against Sheffield United. We're at home now, so we're expected to put on a performance, not only for our fans, uh, just because we're expected to, but because we need to show them that we want to come back from those two defeats and show some character. His mount to Willian. His mount again, he... It's not offside, is it? What a goal for Mount. He literally, if you guys pay attention, he started off the whole free kick. He put it in, he whipped it into the box, and then someone passed it to William. And then William found Mount, who continued all the way his run from the halfway line where he originally took the free kick. So very good from the youngster. I'm seeing some positives. Here's a foul though, and the referee's going to take this decision to VAR to see if it's inside or outside the box. Uh, VAR says that it was outside of the box. So now... Mount is going to cross it into Pedro. Two goals in two games for him. And um, two new up already, guys. But we cannot be confident with this result because of what we've witnessed literally in the last game and that shambolic performance and where we lost 3-2 after being 2 new up. Here's Pedro again. Very good down that left-hand side. Mount and Mount again, Nelly, with a second goal. Good save, and we are playing so well. This is what I wanted to see against Manchester City. And uh, this is what I wanted to see against Valencia, which we did see against Valencia for a certain amount of time. And then we just dropped our levels and uh, lost the game. Here's Jorginho to Mount, to Willian, and Willian, another good shot, another good save. And that 3-0 is literally calling our name. Abraham to Willian, and uh, the highlight skips away. Very, very bright start. And it's the youngster, Mount, who started all of it with his good free kick. And William with his good pass back to Mount to find him. And then Pedro again. Very good starts for Pedro coming in for Pulisic, which has not been perhaps performing well. Wait, what's happening? Christensen gets shoved, guys. Is this a second yellow or what's going on? Oh, no, it's... So go for Sheffield United. Wait, I didn't understand. It said uh, Christensen was shoved. So I was thinking that was our free kick. But then the play or the free kick was to Sheffield. And I'm so confused. Is Kante to Willian. But bad news is guys. It's looking like that uh, Valencia game all over again. We're already 2-1. 2-1 uh, up. I mean what I was meant to say is we're, we've already conceded one goal before half time. And um it's going to be a very, very tough um, second half for us, especially since uh, Sheffield scored that goal, which basically shows them that they can get something out of this if they really, really try and put their mind to it. Here's some passing at the back for Sheffield. We really need the goal here. We've already lost another six points in the title race after that loss to Manchester City. Here's Pedro. He's going to have to cross this in. He does, and it's a corner kick. Uh, William Neddy uh, gave us our third goal of the game. He's going to put the cross in and hopefully meet someone. No, it doesn't. Pedro needs to get to it. Good pass to Willian. And it's a goal kick. It's Kante. And it's a goal for Kante. He never meant it though, apparently. And Sheffield United are making some changes right now. They need to respond. Seven minutes to go. Let's bring in some youngsters, perhaps. Bring in Hudson Adoy, preferably for Pedro. Kante gets a yellow card though, but it's okay. We've done the work we needed to perhaps secure a result. Let me not speak too soon, but let's put Loftus Cheek on for Mount. And 
in Hatsunodoi for Pedro. The substitutions are going to happen and we're in extra time, guys. A good ball to Hudson Odoi. Can the youngster finally get something in, in this game? He can. Abraham and Abraham perhaps should have done better. Very good and lively start from Hudson Odoi, though. Finds him again. He's not going to get to keep it under, unfortunately. But we've done enough to secure the result, guys, which is good. Final time, guys, a 3-1, a well-deserved result. Was not the most confident result we could have had. I mean, overall, 3-1 does sound like it, but we were at 1.21 down, and it seemed like uh, things were maybe about to go against us. But that's what I have time for, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next episode. Just to show you guys a glimpse, uh, we are back to third in the, in the title race, but uh, Tottenham and literally everyone else behind us literally have an a game in hand, so they could uh, surpass us. But uh, good news is we're only four points behind right now. Manchester City must have drawn, or did they lose a game? I'm not. Um, I think they must have drawn or something. Uh, and then because we were six points in, uh, behind them, I think before, and now we're only um, four. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And then the next time we're going to be versing Luton in the Carabao Cup, Leicester away in the Premier League, and then Valencia again. It's going to be an interesting match in the Champions League. Until next time, guys. Peace.